jumping on any second now. I just posted our that um, Q and A. Okay. So what's going on, family? Oh, there we go. Hey, how hey, you doing? How you doing? doing it is, good, man. Uh, tell me how to pronounce your name. Is it Ifoma or Ifoma? Got it right, man. Ifoma got it straight out of the gate. <laughs> okay, well, uh, let's. I said it in Spanish. Hey, Foma, before we get started, I got to tell you, today's a pretty important day for us because it's Bo Ray's birthday today. Oh, geez. <laughs> I don't know if you would mind joining me to sing happy birthday to Bo. Are you cool? I'm going to leave this call. <laughs> let's go, man. Let's go. Okay, we're recording this, so let's do it. Okay. Oh. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. To you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bo. Happy birthday to you. Okay, neither of you quit your day jobs, but thank you so much. <laughs> Bo, Bo lives in Salt Lake City, Utah, uh, Evoma, and I'll bet he can get us a job at the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. Uh huh. Yeah, for sure. For As sure. janitors, maybe. <laughs> hey, happy birthday, my friend. Ifoma, so, uh, obviously, this is James. He is uh, uh, with Realty Candy. He owns Realty Candy, and uh, we 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 hooked up with him because of his uh, absolute brilliant knowledge of the back end of IDX Broker and right. the tools that he has made has made it specifically designed to make it easy for. Uh, realtors to be able to do a lot of stuff on their own but it, from my standpoint more importantly agencies to uh do stuff for their for their realtor clients so I, his ideas yeah. add-on tool is great and we've been working well i say we he has been working on this single page or the single form website builder that um i i think it's just going to be absolutely huge because websites still in my opinion the hardest thing to do for scaling purposes right that it's still the thing yeah. that slows us down from scaling up realtors the way we want to yeah yeah so uh so james i'm gonna let you go through what you've been working on and if you if you can mention the single page you know that that other thing yeah. that we talked about with jeff that would be great yeah. too. okay so ifoma we're doing we're doing a couple of things right now um bo and i met actually in Oregon a couple of months ago and we started working on this I'm going to just show you this uh real quick yeah. that, okay this is uh oh I need to I'm gonna have to log in here give me just a second uh boom um let me see how I'm gonna do this we started working on this idea like Bo says about being able to make these websites for agents that are fast and easy to set up and uh, let me let me just grab a login credentials here real quick, and we're gonna we're gonna hop in here. I'm gonna show you an example of one of these that we're using. This is a demo site we have, and uh, let me just show you real quick what we have here. See how I can share my screen. I'm a little bit nervous here. <laughs> This is this is only about my three thousandth uh, Zoom call, so I'm just kind of starting to figure out how this whole thing works. Mm -hmm. So, so basically, we have this this software at IDX Add-ons, and we're going over here to Pure IDX, and we have a a link. We we haven't really launched this yet, but this is this is kind of what it looks like. And and what we're trying to do is set this up so it's a one click, and basically, you're going to be able to gather some information about a client, and we're going to, we're going to, you'll be able to just click this for your client. And we're going to gather all this data from, from the data we get from IDX broker. So in this case, this client is in Miami. We automatically gather what we think are the four closest cities to Miami. Now, if you want to switch those, you can, um, and then there'll be a button. You can just generate the links for those. And so it'll make save pages with all, with the data for that. And I'm going to be showing Bo in the next day or two, something that we we're working on that we're super excited about. We've got the first part of that done. 
and we're, we're going to be launching that uh, either today or tomorrow. Um, loads all this information up on the website, and then uh, the client can just look at it. This is They can put a fully qualified domain name here. So this is instead of, you know, mysite.pureidx.com, it could say ifoma sells florida.com or whatever your your market is um so you can put videos here at the top you can put uh images here at the top if you want you can have a slider going across there um you can put your picture as an agent on there whatever works and then it, it's it's going to load up all this data on your site using idx brokers uh information we'll have you know pages about each of these communities you'll be able to load those loads the map widget with some properties in there there's a testimonials that's here and uh and we'll have a home valuation uh tool that's here too looks like it's been removed since i last logged on here right there's it has map search it has all these search things it has communities buyer stuff seller stuff market stats all this information is actually generated on the fly when we set this site up. So our idea is that you're going to be able to just gather a few pieces of information from your client, maybe a headshot and a couple things that they want you to load in there. And, right. and in, I don't know, however long it takes to put that information there, five or 10 minutes, you're going to be able to just pick out a website. You can also go back in here. Um, you know, like maybe you say, well, you know, we, we want to change a few things about that. Um, you know, instead uh, of it, can you, can I, well, I want to show him one thing that because yeah. it's based on a question he asked. Scroll up just a little bit. Okay. Okay. See that cash area set dynamic wrapper? Yep. You know, you're saying that they, you know, you have to pay to have that made every time. Yep. You click that and it's going to build it. So you don't yep. ever have to, it, it's just it, the dynamic wrapper is done. Yeah. So, right. yeah. Okay. So, that, so, so this will, this will do a good portion of actually the setup for IDX broker too. We're going to build some stuff in there. So this is, this is kind of a real quick, easy setup. And we've, we've gotten some guidance from, from Bo on this and things that he's seen that agencies have asked him for. And, and when Bo and I were chatting about this that morning in, in uh, Oregon, I, we were supposed to be eating breakfast and uh, we started chatting about this and we came up with some things that would work. So this is, this is about, um, we're gonna have the first version ready for people to start using um, within about a week or two. Uh, uh, James, uh, can you show him what it looks like now? Cause you can actually use this now and I built several sites. It's it's yeah. not quite as intuitive and which is why he's doing this but they do build really nice sites still. This uh, one's actually on our server now, uh, Bowen. It's ready for people to use. Oh, excellent. Okay. I mean, in a test thing, we don't don't yeah. tell anybody, but yeah. um yeah. but it's something that we can play around with, if nothing else. Yeah, yep. You can get in there. So right now we have these three designs that we're using. And uh, you know, folks can say, Well, I like this layout or that layout or the other. With this new one, what 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 one of the issues we have with the old ones is that they have different sections and so if you switch from one to the other things kind of don't necessarily all go back and forth over there real easy and on the new one we're making it so that it'll all that no matter which design you use all your content stays in there so you can flip the whole design of the website around without having to change any of the the information that's you've added one, one of the things i asked myra about and if only for for us as uh agencies this is going to be big is uh if we can have a few sections that uh, are just almost like blank where we could just put like a script or something. So, and I, and I know in all of these different sections, you can put scripts in, in, you know, in any of them, but that way we could just have a few sections where we say, you know what, we want something completely custom in this area, uh, you know, that, so that we can add a, a form or like the widget, you know, we want, we want our own review widget from high level in there. So, uh, so to have a few areas where we can add our own stuff really easily, uh, you know, is going to be great. So, right, yeah. It's, so, like I just popped in here. Where did I put this? Uh, you know, I changed the name of one of these things. So yeah, it's gonna, it's all gonna be real fast and easy to to load up here. Right. So, 
Right? What I'm hearing correctly is like this dashboard here is where theoretically, well, not theoretically, is actually doing it. You put the information and you choose the you choose the site that you want. You answer the questions in the different parts of it, and then the site is built rather than the way that it's done now, like in high level or in some of these other builders, you got to go in, drag the element and all of that stuff. Yeah. This is just more making it really user-friendly. Um, it's templated. Just answer the questions. The site is built. Yeah. Yep. And you, and, um, and you can kind of change these around a little bit. Like say we want to move, you know, the stats up a little bit higher over here. Oh, excellent. All right. Uh, you know, we can say, well, we want we want it right below there, and we're going to change that, and and that'll that'll move that. So yeah, right. if we could have like even just like um, two or three just custom script areas where it's where there's nothing in it, and then we can move it to wherever we want, and then you know, yeah. if somebody wants some custom script that way. They and can that's where it. that's where you're going to be able to put like a form in once you have like yeah, one you block put a form. That's... You could put uh, the review widget. Um, uh yeah you, you know you whatever could, you could probably do some even stuff. i frame something if if needed i i would imagine yep. james yep so. and, and, and i found another thing that i think is pretty cool about this is that we have a thing that that bo and his team built with us where we're going to be able to load up the the go high level chat the high level forms and all that stuff we're going to be able to get all that information so you don't have to load all that stuff in we're going to get we have the codes so let's say that you sign up Becky, you know, as a new agent in Miami, Bo's going to have all that information on his system about her, her um, high level integration. And we're going to be able to programmatically pull that information over. So when you put submit changes, when you build this first site, it'll actually just whoosh, grab all of her stuff and put, it'll have the high level integration built into it. Right. So let me let me let me talk about my immediate use case and see and, and and get some 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 feedback on that. So I have a broker. So what I do and this Bo knows what I do. So I'm a national speaker for real estate, right? So I travel around the country and I speak for real estate organizations. Okay. Um, but I also have a product that I build these custom uh, real estate uh, these online hubs for brokers you know, membership areas and communities and the whole nine yards. But I never did IDX. Even when I met broker about a year, uh, Bo about a year ago, never ventured into the IDX. My product was always built around communities, um, um, e-learning, online, and stuff like that. Now I'm doing the IDX. So I have a broker. Uh, she has 50 agents. Okay. Okay. Uh, how would I, how would that look for me to give each one of these agents uh, a website is each one of these agents going to have to have fifth, you know, one of these accounts or is it like one master account and, and, you know, my team can do it or they have to, the agents have to go and have to log into 50 times. Different, you know, how would that look? Yeah. A broker with 50 that's, agents. I want to get these sites. That's a great question. What, what we see is the most common thing is that they'll have a site that looks something like, um, They'll, they'll have a website like this one, for example, say they build the master site as you referred to it. Right. And, and then from there, they'll have, you know, they've got some information on there and maybe a search tool that they like or something. Then when they go to meet the agents, they'll have a layout here. This is, this is a, you know, an actual website with some agents. And let's see here, this is Jason, who's the owner of this, this company. So he'll have basically a, a little bit of an agent page that's built into this using IDX Broker. And he, he can make this a whole page of, you know, we can kind of set this up. We have two or three different formats for this. It shows his listings. It can have a search tool. There's two or three options for it. They don't, they don't have to go in and change all this stuff. This can all be just updated in IDX Broker. Um, and... The idea is that if you have 50 agents, most of the time they don't all want to have their own websites. So um, this is what we, we have something like this where they're a subsite for right now. If if that's an issue and everybody wants their own website with their own domains pointed to it and stuff like that, we can do that. Jason actually has his set up. So if you go to Jason Lining, I think I misspelled it jasonlining.com he he set up a redirect over on his server so it goes to his page that's a pretty yeah. easy fast setup for most people 
So, James, yeah. I didn't, never did ask you that. But if they do want, because there's going to be some, obviously, realtors that want their own brand, their own everything. Um, mm -hmm. Well, that... We, yeah, we they want the fullness, they want the fullness of their page. I'm sorry? No, I'm saying they, they, like, I'm bringing her over now from, um, she's using Showcase IDX and in um, WordPress. And uh, about, I know, I know a fact of the 10 of them have their, their website. Now, I agree that it still looks very similar. The website itself looks very similar to the corporate website, mm -hmm. but you know, it still has the bigness of a website that does still let you know that you're on a page, but they want to have, well, you come to my site. They want to be able to give out their site. People can, you know, search for properties and, you know, the form, if they fill out the form, you know, uh, let's say a lead magnet form, or let's say they fill out, you know, one of the listings, then the lead comes to them because they're driving traffic to it. And that's the big purpose. They didn't want to send it to to drive traffic to the page, and then they switch off of that person's page and go back to the home page. Now they're no longer with the branding. You see, right. like how he, yeah, how he did it, where it went to his page, which is cool. But if they click anywhere else around, now there's no longer his branding. He's no longer the man. Yeah. And uh they don't want that if they're spending money and driving traffic to it. We have we have we have another tool. Um I'll just show you this real quick. This there's two or three ways to do this. We could make another uh product there basically that allows you to completely build a completely different website for every single agent. We we have a, a couple of things. I want to show you this. Um Let's see. This is Agent Wrappers. This this basically, I need to get a, a video in here to show you what this looks like. But this allows you to get every agent in your office. And uh, we have some good people here. Ronaldo's one of our agents. And, and you can set up a, a page wrapper for them. And so when they look at all the IDX data, it's branded to their uh, to them. This is not what you're asking about. You're asking about having a full-blown website for every single agent. Right now, we don't have that. That isn't something that would be extremely difficult for us to build. Um, you know, we just have to build it out. It'd basically be the same thing as that pure IDX, but the the broker would just need to authorize the agents that would have access and give them access to that. So we have you know, something similar like this right now where, you know, give access to this agent, remove access to the other agent. And uh, we would do basically that same. By the way, Afoma, you can actually access this IDX add-ons for the one client that signed up. All you need to do is put in their API, the IDX broker API key. You, yep. can, you can look at this all day long if you want. Yeah, so we, we can set a password for this thing copy it and send it over to the agent and uh and then they have access to it so uh we would ba we could basically set up use the same process to uh yeah. to make it create the websites for the agents you know there would be some sort of fee involved with that you know because there's you got to host it and you have some infrastructure that's involved the domain name and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I think that's gonna be that's gonna what I, I need to to see what the fee looks like, but then that has to be either factored into what I what I charge or yeah. passed on to them. Um, yeah. So knowing that you know would be would be also super great. But yeah, charge, that's, that's definitely. We're charging ninety nine bucks a year for those pure IDX sites. So probably if they had a sub site under there, we could find some way to make those numbers. Um, well, more affordable a year is is you know i mean even at 50 that's that's a year so you build that into your monthly you know maybe that, that should be fairly yeah it's a, it's about eight bucks a, a month basically is the way we have it set up now we can we can probably tweak that and come up with another product that would do that um believe it or not this, you're the first person that's even asked us about that yeah, well, and I haven't never asked. I didn't even think about it, even though I know that some agents want it. So thanks. Well, I've been, yeah, I've been, so I've been, you know, again, I've been a broker for 17 years and I've used multiple sites uh, and also uh, spent a lot of time with, with like conversion, KV call, 
uh, even some of them in the beginning years. So I'm very, very familiar with IDX, the websites, how these agents um, want. That's why one of the reasons why I didn't jump right into it when I started, because I know some of the things that I've dealt with even when I was uh, working with KV Core in the beginning when they were first called conversion. Um, I'll tell you well, something, definitely. James, how, how uh, forward-thinking Ifoma was. He was one of my first clients that bought this integration a year okay. ago. Uh, we were That's doing awesome. a, uh, a one-time, it was like $2,500 for a, a, a lifetime license to just get a okay. few people on it. And he jumped on it and then kind of disappeared for about a year. So uh, so his forward-thinking yeah, was, I you know, was I'm going to jump on this because I know eventually yeah. he's going to want it. So. I was well, the concept awesome. was good, and I wanted to support somebody that was like, because, you know, I know the challenges, right? But I was like, if he's willing to take up a challenge, at least I could invest into him. And if it if it comes through, then great. And if it falls apart, well, I'll just write it off in taxes. And either which way, um, you know, I, I liked his, his vision, you know, but uh, and I love your vision, too. So that's the reason where those questions Thank are you. coming from, because um, the brokers that I have in my system now, are, I so my brokers, my clients are all high producing, high volume broker. So each, like she's the lower one. I have a, a 300 agents, 120 agents. Um, so I know once I roll this product out, that's what I'm going to be, I'm going to I'm be faced with that. And that's that's a good point. I'll tell you what happened with us, Foma, is uh, years ago, I started working with a guy named Javier down in Miami and he had about 400 agents. And he told me, he was a broker, he owned the brokerage. And he just said, um, I don't want to build websites for all my agents. He said, I don't want to be a webmaster. I'm a, I'm a real estate broker. And I, I, when he said that, it kind of shocked me because I thought, I mean, everybody's supposed to make websites for all their agents. I'd been a real estate agent before I started over here. And, and he kind of shifted my mind. And what, what Javier's theory was and what a lot of people that we work with, their theory is, is we'll make this thing for the, for the office and we'll do this, the rosters and the agent pages and all that kind of stuff. If they want, if the agents want something beyond that, I'm going to have them go get that from somebody else because I don't want to be responsible for it. And I don't want to, you know, Hey, my email's not working or my form's not working on my website. You know, I need you, my broker to go fix it for me. And so we felt that from some people, like you're saying, there's other people that, that say, Hey, I want to be able to offer websites to all my agents. That's an important part of our tech stock. I Text think so. That. I think that I think what yeah. Javier said is true. The only difference in this scenario is, is that we are the other guys. See, okay. the broker comes to me. Yeah. And the broker oh, says, you yeah. know, so so yeah. so in my so in my situation, I am the other guy. In the broker situation, in Javier's situation, I don't want to be a webmaster and trying to figure this thing out and they come into me. Sure. Um, in my situation, well, you're that guy. You know what I mean? So I'll send yeah. them to you, and that's cool. If the, <laughs> I'll take them all because I have my support team in place. It's just a matter of making sure that I could scale it and I, and I can handle it, you know? Yeah. We can, we can set this up. I think that's a great idea. That's I'm making a note of it here to add a, we're, the, what's interesting and Bo mentioned this at the beginning is we're actually working on another kind of version of these sites that allows you to do single property websites. And uh, so that's, that's another option. People are going to be able to, get that. And again, they'll be able to pull some of that data from the IDX feed if they want, or they can manually add it, push a button, hook a domain name up to it, and they're off to the races. And uh, we're, we're working with another partner of ours who, we're actually, who actually um, sells us some services. And uh, they have like, I think it's 250 offices across the country for a brand name uh, national brokerage. And they're going to want us, they want, you know, 250 websites. They want to use this text stack to build that. I love, so. the, I love the technology. I love, I love the simplicity. I would love to try it out like Bo was mentioning. And um, I think that being able to just uh, add information into a form and not have to send somebody into a builder is, is genius, you know, and it's just oh, a matter of, okay, yeah, how do we, how does that, how does that scale? Um, because like, even if another, you know, she, the broker comes and she says, okay, yeah, I want to give them or whatever it is. It's just a matter of, of tying it together, which you're like 90% there. It's just a, like you said, it's just probably some, some small tweaking, but I love the concept. I love to test it out. And, and uh, yeah, we'll get you, we'll get you hooked up with one to test. They, 
The other thing that I think is cool about these is you can put HTML code in any of these, right? So you can just put in here, you know, whatever, I don't know, whatever you put in is HTML, but you can also add custom CSS code or even JavaScript. So if people have some special needs, these are, these are not really designed to compete with WordPress. You know, WordPress yeah. lets go change everything. These is, you can't change everything. So it's, we think it's a little bit more like an iPhone versus a, an Android, you know, if you have an Android, you can change everything and do all kinds of stuff. That iPhone, you know, they only let you do certain stuff. And these are a little bit more limited like that. But they, we think that they make it easier to use. I've found, I've found that most agents, once you, I think templates is the key. As you begin to create more templates, if that's in the roadmap, it I is. think that's the beauty. Because once they see a template, I like that. Like, yeah. even with my high level now, I have templates. I don't take design requests like this is that you choose either one two three four five yeah. she chooses two okay great you know where your picture is gonna go you know where you know um so i think the templates are great and, and i and i think you're doing an amazing job with it so i think it's just a matter of um i like it you know i definitely like it a lot it's way easier than 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 what we do now with with uh with high level so now if if the broker if the broker has uh, and a broker account and each agent has their own IDX, right? And we put on two or three agents on it. Does it have to connect the IDX or just one IDX setup? And it will kind of know, well, this agent has an account. And you were showing me something like that just now. Is that yep. what you were showing me? Yep. And that's what happens. Like when we look at, for example, when we look at this, Jason Lining put this on his test on his site just to test it. So he put his name on the top of every page. So when we go look at a property, uh, you know, it's, it knows, you can see right here, it has his name. So now everything I do on his, this website, he could also put a picture or change his logo or whatever he wanted to do, but he just put his name as an example there. So everything we do on the site, is is marked to Jason, or, you know, or if we would have used Cindy, who's on there, then you know it would have everything would have been to Cindy, but everything we do now on the site, it it knows that we're working with Jason, and any lead that comes in through this stuff will go to Jason. This is all done in the IDX broker inside yep. of IDX broker. Yep. Gotcha. Well, yep. But it's all built. But the site is built in your system. Actually, this site isn't built in our system. Don't tell anybody that. This is just, I was just trying to show you the agent roster. Got you. Got yeah. you. Okay, cool. All yeah. right, well, I mean. But I yes, every, other than that, yes, everything is done in IDX add-on. Yeah, ex yeah. Thank yeah. you for that <laughs> clarification, Bo. The main, I think this is actually a WordPress website that these guys built, and then we just hooked up the IDX to it and used some of our tools in it. Um, and But I... I just, it's the first one that I, that comes to my mind when you asked about agent stuff, I could dig around and get some help from my team to do that. They, they mostly just have me doing yard work and emptying garbage cans and singing birthday songs to people around here. So. All right. Well, I'm, I'm like I said, man, Bo did a great job explaining it. Now that I see it, I think, well, you just set it up. Let me, um, let me try it out and see. And then we just got to figure out how we could, um, I can scale it. Uh, so that I can I can shop it to her and be like, well, listen, this is what this looks like, or wrap it into what I'm charging her, and just yep. be like, well, in order to do this, this is what the price looks like. I just need to know so that that way, I'm not burning, you know, I'm not burning money, you know. Yep. One one other thing I'll mention to you about this is that a lot of people are concerned that if they left, like you said, if they leave a, a something, then they're stuck or they don't get to take their site with them. With these, you can actually push restore backup. And it's going to download a, every time I make a change, it makes a backup. So every time I change something, it makes a backup. So I can say, I want this one and I can download this. Oh, I can actually restore it from here, but there's an option to download this, the site that actually lets me go back in time. That that's, I got confused. I apologize. This lets me go back in a time. So I can go set it back to May 12th if I want right there. Um, but we I have download it, where would I use it? You could, if you downloaded it, it's just, it'll download all the HTML files for you. And you could go put it on, you know, myhosting.com or wherever you, you host stuff. And they can take the website with them. The reason we do that is because we think that, um, here it is. Here's the download backup. This is what I was actually looking for. It allows them to take the site with them. 
so they're not stuck with us for the rest of their life. So if they want, if they say, you know, we put some time making this thing, we want to take it. I didn't like the way Realty Candy treated us. Um, they can download that. I just, I just downloaded that site to my computer, and it's uh, that one's seven hundred and thirty-one kilobytes. So it's not even a meg. It fit on a floppy. I fit two of these sites on a floppy drive. That's how tiny the, that is. So, so you it's can take really it. cool because it doesn't have the overhead that like a you know WordPress site. Uh, geez, it's almost a gig anymore. Yeah. You know, with all the PHP and the database and everything else, it's almost impossible. So yeah. This one's easy so these are real. These are really small. You can take it and then go install it somewhere else and go wait. The the truth is, I'll be honest with you, um, we haven't had anybody do that yet, but we we built that functionality in. So because the broker that we that I have now, she signed up through that uh, that developer link. She's yep. already in this system, is what you're saying? Yep. Yep. That's that one, James, that I was asking if she signed up, and you sent me the. the uh, yep. Screenshot. Yep. So. If, if I sent, yep. So you could get her API key and go to idxaddons.com. There's a login button. Click that. Put her API key in, and you're off to the races. So, oh, sure. so what I got to do is go to idxaddons.com, put the API key in. Yep, and you'll see all this. Yep. The the Pure IDX sites, we, we do charge to set those up. Um, if you want, after we, I'm going to turn off the recording here, and we'll I can show you a way that we can get you set up with that. Let me, do we have anything else that we want to cover on the recording? No, that, that, that's it. Oh. Okay, let me just turn this um, off. Give me a second here, iPhone.